Welcome back to Teshkid FX for another HBAR price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the HBAR chart which at the time of this recording has continued to hold above a key area of support at around the 0.0639 dollar mark. We have also continued to hold above the 20 day MA which is now acting as support here on the daily chart and at the time of this recording we are seeing a bit of a breakdown to the lower side after seeing a massive bounce to the upside in a move that has now given us a bounce back to the area at around the 0.09993 dollar mark and at the time of this recording here on the daily chart you can see that we have this long week on the daily chart which is a candlestick pattern that indicates that the sellers are trying to take over the market and that is what has been happening after making our high at around the 0.0993 dollar mark and before I give you my next price targets here on the H bar chart First give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to continue with the video here on the 4 hour chart by first giving you a quick recap of what has been happening and also give you the long term scenarios where you can see that HBAR from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw a massive bounce to the upside seeing the all time high at around the 0.58 dollar mark in what I'm terming as that first wave to the upside and after seeing the all time high we started the bear market where we had been seeing low prices in this ABC corrective structure in a move that has now given us a low at around the 0.0356 dollar mark in what I'm terming as the formation of that wave to the lower side and after seeing the formation of a second wave whatever we expect on the long term scenarios is a bounce to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 where I have a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 at the FIB level 1.618 and that is at around the 0.9768 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting HBAR to do on the long term scenarios and jumping to the 4 hour chart to give you the next price targets and also the short term scenarios that I'm expecting to play out here on the HBAR chart you can first see that after making our low at around the 0.0356 dollar mark we started a massive bounce to the upside of being the adiotive structures where you can see that I have this adiotive structure in yellow having that as the first wave to the upside then we saw a wave 2 a wave 3 making its peak at around the 0.0808 dollar mark before we started a corrective structure in the formation of that wave 4 which fully maximized our target areas in the formation of that wave 4 and after seeing the formation of that fourth wave we expected another massive bounce to the upside in the formation of that wave 5 and I believe that is what we are seeing over here having our peak at around the 0.099 three dollar mark in the formation of that wave five and in that move to the upside in the formation of that wave five we have also fully maximized our target areas that I had given you in my previous videos using the trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the high of that wave three and that gave me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave five at the fib of 1.618 and that is at around the 0.087 dollar mark and that is a target area that we fully maximized and I said to you that there are chances of managing to break above the FIB level 1.618 and continue breaking through other key areas on the Fibonacci and here on the Fibonacci we have made our high in the formation of that with 5 at the FIB level 4.618 and that is at around the 0.0985 dollar mark so that is the area on the Fibonacci that we have been able to make our high in the formation of that higher adiotive count 5 and after seeing the formation of this adiotive structure that we have right here in yellow come to a complete through the formation of this wave 5 now we can name this 5 wave structure to the upside as a larger adiot wave count 1 to the upside and whatever we expect next after seeing the formation of a larger adiot wave count 1 is a corrective structure in the formation of a larger adiot wave count 2 and using the Fibonacci we can be able to sketch out a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of that wave 2 by connecting the Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 and that gives me a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of that wave 2 between the FIB level 0.5 and the FIB level 0.618 and I can mark that target area here on the charts like that 
and it is within this yellow target area right here that i'm expecting to see the low for this second wave right here and i have shown you on the daily chart that we have a long week that is in formation on the daily chart which is an indication that the sellers are trying to take over the market and you can see that is what has been happening because on the four hour chart after making our peak in the formation of that with five we have been seeing red bearish candlesticks in formation and here on the four hour chart we have also lost the 20 day ma which is now acting as resistance and the next support zone that i'm watching is the area at around the 0.0808 dollar mark so in case h bar continues to push even lower the next key support zone that i'm watching is at around the 0.0808 dollar mark and for this wave two to fully play out i'm expecting h bar to lose that support zone and once that happens then i'm expecting a retest and once the retest is in then we can continue pushing even lower to fully maximize our yellow target area and also expect to see an ABC corrective structure because of the corrective nature in the formation of a larger A due to count 2 having the wave C fully maximizing our yellow target area and once the wave 2 is in then that will be another perfect entry into H bar so that we can be able to ride another 5 wave structure to the upside in the formation of a larger A due to count 3 to the upside so that is what I'm expecting here on the short term scenarios we have picked in the formation of that wave 5 completed an even larger add your wave count one to the upside and now my primary scenario is that soon we are going to continue unlocking lower prices to fully maximize our target area down here in the formation of this larger edu wave count two and once we have the low for that second wave then we can expect another massive bounce to the upside in the formation of this larger edu wave count three so that is what i'm expecting here on the short term scenarios and also on the long term scenarios and also taking a look at the indicators here on the rsi we are trading at around the 51 mark meaning we have massive room for us to fully support lower movements in the formation of that with two also taking a look at the macd we have been able to print a bearish cross fully supporting lower movements in the formation of that with two also taking a look at the volume indicator here on the volume indicator we are still seeing an increase in the selling volume meaning there are chances of continuing to unlock even lower prices and fully maximize our target areas in the formation of that with two so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated